everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Kendall Lawrence and this is Head Chef Mom. And today I'm going to show you how to make a quick weeknight chicken, barbecue chicken meal that your family's going to love and enjoy. You're going to throw everything on one pan and be done with it. So come on in and let me show you what my ingredients are. I have some chicken legs, of course, and we're going to be using some chopped garlic, some dry mustard, some Thai red curry paste, some ground allspice, some paprika, some parsley flakes, some cayenne pepper, and because this is a quick night, a quick uh, meal, weeknight meal, we're going to use some bottled sauce. Some sweet baby rays is my favorite, but I've never had the sweet Vidalia onion. Um, I didn't intend to get that. I sent my husband to the store and I said get some, some barbecue sauce. I should have been more specific. Um, we're going to use some onion powder and some sasson seasoning and some black pepper. I'm also going to have some potatoes um, that we're going to roast in the pan with the barbecue chicken and we've got some onions that I'm going to uh, combine with it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my chicken seasoned up and a lot of the seasoning is going to go into the sauce. Well, no, actually, yeah, I'm going to season it up in the, uh, in the bowl. So I'm going to start with a bit of olive oil just to make my seasonings adhere better. And I'm going to put some of the saison seasoning on the chicken. Mm. And I'm going to put some onion powder. some black pepper and I'm going to give that a, a quick stir around in the bowl with my clean hands Okay, I'm back and I've placed the contents of my Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce in a bowl here and I'm going to start adding some ingredients to the bowl. I'm going to uh, put in a good bit of garlic because I love garlic and I'm going to use some allspice just a touch of that. And I like this Thai red curry paste. Really great flavor. Gives it such a nice kick. I'm going to add some paprika. Preferably smoked paprika, but I didn't have any, so we're just going to go with the regular paprika. People say that paprika doesn't really have a flavor, but the smoked paprika does. I'm going to add a little bit of dry mustard. difficult for me to talk today. I went to the dentist and I'm still numb. I'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper. A few parsley flakes. Dried parsley. You can use fresh if you like. But this is a quick weeknight throw together deal. Some onion powder. I'm going to hit it with a little bit more of the sasson seasoning. I don't know why when you say Spanish words, you try to say it with a Spanish accent. Sasson. And I'm going to do about a cap full of white vinegar. You can use whatever kind of vinegar you like. I'm just, white vinegar is what I touched first when I went to the pantry. About a cap full of lemon juice. Oh, two caps. I'm gonna get this all stirred up. I'm 
And I'm just going to dump my chicken in, get it well coated. I think about, I've got about eight pieces of chicken for that one bottle. It's not a large bottle of barbecue sauce. And I don't like my um, barbecue chicken to be really, really saucy. That's why I start out with it on the chicken at the very beginning um, when as soon as I put it in the oven. Some people will bake the chicken and then add sauce later and, and it's much saucier like that. I like my sauce to be cooked in. And last one. And I forgot my onions, completely forgot about my onions. Let me get those in. Let me get them incorporated. And I'm going to rinse my hands off. So I've rinsed my hands off and I'm going to place my potatoes on the uh, foil line baking sheet. And I got this trick from a person that I follow on YouTube. Uh, his, he goes by the name of Philly Boy J, where he put his vegetables underneath his chicken while he was baking it. And I have been doing that ever since. It's great with a lot of different vegetables. Just happen to be doing potatoes tonight, but I do it with Brussels sprouts. I do it with broccoli. You know, you can put onions under there versus putting them in your sauce, asparagus. And everything is all done at the same time. And so now I'm just going to place my chicken on top of my veggies. And I'm going to get some of this sauce that I have left over because it's a good bit and just brush it on. And I've got my oven preheating to 400 degrees and I'm going to stick it in the oven and I'll check on it in about an hour. And I'll come back when it's done. See you in a few. Okay, guys, everything is ready. Here's the chicken, the final result. In my opinion, barbecue chicken isn't really good unless it's got kind of a nice char on it. It is looking delicious to me. So let's give this a taste. I had it in the oven on 400 for about an hour and 20 minutes. And so here I'm gonna get a piece of chicken. I'm going to get a couple of these potatoes. They look wonderful. Or I'll just get one of the potatoes for a taste test. Uh, let's give her a taste. It's really hot. It's really tender and juicy. Comes off the bone very easily. Let me get some of the skin. To me, the best part of barbecue chicken is the skin. A lot of people think that's really unhealthy. And you can take the skin off if you want to. But I like the skin. Mm, hot. That's delicious. Mm. The seasonings are perfect. I can, you get a hint of sweet, you get a hint of heat from the cayenne. I get that um, Thai red chili pepper coming through. The potato is tender. And believe it or not, that little teeny bit of barbecue sauce on the potato adds another le le level of goodness to that. Really good. I hope you try this out. And um, I think you're going to like it. So if you do try it out, please leave me a comment. And 
click subscribe. I'm a new channel and I need some subscribers. So subscribe, comment, click like on my video, and go cook for your family. Thanks a whole lot. Bye-bye.